Hey loves, so I'm back with a fashion overhaul and review and you probably noticed that I posted a fashion overhaul and review about a month ago and I deleted it and I deleted it for a reason because at that time I had just gotten one of my orders in and I feel like I just hated everything that I got and I was just like going off based upon one order. Now I can kind of more understand their quality and what they have to offer now that I've gotten all of my orders in. And I have coats, I have shirts, and I also have jeans. So I have a little bit of everything so I can really understand their quality and what they have to offer. In my last video, like I told you guys, around Christmas time, their shipping was a hot mess. I got my orders mad late. It took about three weeks to a month for them to actually ship my stuff. Um, I got my stuff after, well after Christmas. I got my stuff in January. So I just wanna say Christmas time was horrible for them. I placed an order recently for jeans and I'll do a haul on that later on. And their shipping was cool. Like I got my stuff within a week. I got my stuff pretty quickly. So. I think that when there's like a holiday, it's not a good time to order from them because they will be backed up and they'll probably ship your stuff out mad late. But as far as quality, I feel like if you order anything other than jeans, you have a 50-50 chance of not liking it, not liking the fit, not liking the material, not liking the quality because it's just, some things are just amazing and some things are just trash, like I'm just being honest. But if you order jeans, you're gonna love it. I have not ordered a pair of jeans from them that I don't love. And pretty much every pair of jeans I order, no matter what size I order, fits. I wear sizes between five and nine, and their jeans are so stretchy that if you order a smaller size, it will stretch out to fit you. And if you order a larger size, it will just stretch a little less and it will still fit you. So I recommend them for jeans. But like I said, if you order anything other than jeans, you have a 50-50 chance of not liking your order. Another thing about Fashion Nova is you do not get your money back once you spend your money with them. So do know that if you spend $100 with them, your $100 is stuck with them forever. When you return something, you get store credit. And if you make too many returns at Fashion Nova, they can block you from making any more purchases. That's another thing, who does that? That didn't make any sense to me, but I haven't been blocked, so I guess I don't have to worry about that right now. And the last thing that I wanna say is the reviews. Don't be tricked by the reviews. Some of these pieces that fit horrible and that are just horrible quality had amazing reviews and had like hundreds of reviews that said how amazing the piece was and then I got it and it wasn't what everyone was saying. So I don't know how they get the reviews going. I don't know if they pay people to do reviews or they do their own reviews and they just do reviews over and over and over and over again or what they do with the reviews because some of those reviews are lies. So let me get into what I ordered and what I purchased. It's all winter items. Some of the things I have already worn multiple times. So I can just tell you, I can tell you what's going on, how it fits, the quality, and whether you should purchase some of these items. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this fur coat. This is my greatest love from Fashion Nova. As you can see, it still has the tag, so I've never worn it, but this fur coat is absolutely gorgeous. Now let me tell you about Fashion Nova furs. Fashion Nova furs, they shed, and they shed badly. You will feel like you're just a shedding dog all day long if you try to wear one of their fur coats. They might look lovely, they might look gorgeous. I mean, this looks like high quality. This looks like real fur, obviously it's not. I just feel so elegant and royal when I wear it. Um, or at least try it on, I've never worn it out. The fur just sheds really, really badly. I even think I've got a fur in my eyelash. I'm pretty sure this jacket goes past my knees. It doesn't have a closure, which I did not like about it because obviously if you're cold, you want to be able to close your jacket and it has pockets, which is really good. This is the next fur coat that I purchased and it's another fur coat that I love. This fur coat does have a closure right here so you can close it up when you're cold. It is another coat that sheds. I love the color. I love the fact that it has the light tones and the dark tones. It's gorgeous. I'm scared of the shedding. Like, I'm scared to go out and just ruin my outfit with shedding because if I want to take off my coat, I'll know that I'll have fur all over my clothes and my outfit will be ruined. So you pretty much know that when you go out with one of these coats, you need to keep it on. You don't want to take it off. This is one of the fur coats that I wanted to return. It's not that it's an ugly coat. It's just that it was too small for me. I think the sleeves are a little bit too small for me um, 
and it is a size medium and it's also a little tight on me as well. I like it, it's a dusty pink color, but it's too small and when I try to return it, shipping to California was $20 for this fur coat. So I just ended up keeping it. I might do like a Fashion Nova giveaway. Like this video or comment down below if you want me to do a Fashion Nova giveaway on the things that don't work out for me because I do have a couple things that I can give away. So yeah, let me know or like this video if you want me to do a Fashion Nova giveaway. So this is the last Fashion Nova jacket that I got. And, and that's another thing. These things have such high reviews on their website and I don't understand. This jacket is total trash. This was the jacket that had me like getting into Fashion Nova because I was like, this jacket looks so cute. It looks like teddy bear fur and it looks so warm and the reviews were so amazing and I got it and this sheds the absolute worst. You will have like a track right behind you a fur this is the one that that leaves a track of fur and gets all over your clothes it's just the worst at shedding it's warm though i'm not gonna lie it's very warm but it sheds way too badly um this does have closure i think it has a button closure and it also has a pockets but the quality of the fur is straight trash it just doesn't look good it's too bulky i just hate it and to return it costs 30 dollars, so i ended up just keeping it so the first sweater I'm going to show you guys is this one, never worn it, it's a cold shoulder sweater and it's a sweater dress. For some reason I thought that based upon the way it fit the model that I could wear it with like jeans underneath it or with tights underneath it but it's a little too long for that. I just think it's just too long um, to wear it like that so I just never worn it. And the way it's knitted which is another problem with a lot of their sweaters is it's not knitted tightly, so it has holes throughout the whole entire sweater. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's just holes everywhere. Because of that, you always have to wear like a tank top or shirt or something underneath it if you don't want the wind hitting you and giving you chills because there's just holes in all their sweaters. It's just not knitted tightly and it's not knitted in a way to keep you warm. Now, this sweater I actually like. I don't just like it, but I love it. Um, once again, it has holes in it. So like I said, you have to wear on maybe a warmer day or wear a shirt underneath it. But I like the fit of it. I like the cut of it and I like the style of it. I like the fact that it has the laces down the middle and you can wear it tight like this, not show any cleavage, or you can wear the laces a little looser and show cleavage if that's what you want to do. And it comes down to your waist. The sleeves fit perfect. It's a medium. I got all my tops and jackets in a medium and I just would recommend this. This is one of the tops that I actually like. This next top, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I've worn this top the most out of all the things that I have. Like I've worn this so many times, it's not even funny how many times I've worn this. I mean, I wear it to doctor's appointments, I've worn it on a date, I wear it to run errands, I wear it out with my kids. I just always wear it and I don't know why because the sleeves are not long enough. I always end up having to roll up the sleeves. Um, the way it's knitted, I mean, the breeze hits you if you forget to wear a shirt and there was a time I forgot to wear a shirt underneath it and the breeze hit me and I got the chills. And the cut is kind of not right. I like the fact that it has the high low as you can see it's high in the front low in the back and kind of scoops under like that scoops around. I like that but I wish it fit a little snugger a little tighter on my body. It's a perfect sweater to kind of knock around in. You don't look frumpy but you also don't look dressy but um as far as me wearing it on a date like I don't know why I did that. It was kind of like a last minute decision to go on the date so I just kind of threw something on but it wasn't a date night sweater at all. It's not a sweater you would dress up in at all. Now here's a sweater that I don't like at all. I think this sweater looks so cheap. Like it just doesn't look anything like it did on the model on the website. I've never worn it. As you can see it still has a tag. It's in a size medium. Um, the cut it's okay. It just looks cheap and it's not even thick either so it won't keep you warm and it has the holes. It just makes no sense to me. Never worn it probably could give it away if anybody wants it let me know like I said like this video comment down below this last sweater also makes no sense to me because it's a size small medium but it is super wide like wh who is a size small that is this wide it makes no sense and then it's kind of cropped so why is it wide but cropped it just it should be slimmer but longer like that's how I expected it to be I expected it to be more fitted but longer but instead it's wide and cropped makes no sense I got it because of the neckline and the color 
and the sleeves also aren't long enough so this whole thing was just cut absolutely wrong makes no sense to me at all and um as you can see never worn it so the last things i want to show you are jeans this one or the jeans that I got in this order, I got in size 5 because at the time I was 134 pounds. So I was at a smaller size at the time that I bought it. Now I probably would buy it in a 7 because I weigh more and my stomach kind of hangs over the jeans. But they still fit nicely. So this is the first pair. It has distressing on it and I've worn these a couple of times. And like I said, it fits really tight on my stomach only because I'm at a higher weight and I have a gut that I haven't gotten rid of since my baby and I need to go to the gym. ASAP. Still haven't joined. I know I told you guys in one of my other videos that I was going to join, but I'm really going to join this weekend. Like, I need to get rid of my gut. Tammy Hembrill is goals. Like, I know everyone knows who Tammy Hembrill is, but she's goals. She's, she's what I'm trying to get. Like, like I want to be 150 pounds, but not have a gut. For me to not have a gut, I have to get down to 134, and I'm just too skinny at 134. Like, I want to be 150 with no gut. And just muscle. This is my next one. I really like this one. I don't know why I haven't worn it. I guess I just haven't had the time to wear it or the place to wear it too. No distressing at all. So you can kind of dress this up a little bit more. It's also low rise. It fits pretty much the same exact way the other one fits. All three of them fit the same exact way. It's also a size 5. Stretches a ton. And like I said, at the weight that I am now, my gut hangs over it. Which sucks. But it just gives me motivation, motivation to go to the gym like I need to. So the last pair of jeans that I got are these pair, black. I've worn these. So like I said, if it's good, it stretches. Recommend their jeans, definitely. So to sum up my review of Fashion Nova, I have a love-hate relationship with them. And when you look at their models and their reviews, it's hard not to order from them. I go back to the website like daily just trying to figure out what I want but then I don't purchase because I know that it might not be the material that I want it to be or the fit that I want it to be or the cut that I want it to be it might it just might not be what I want it to be so I have a hard time ordering anything that isn't jeans even though I just love so many other things and the way it looks on their models like everything looks amazing on their models but when you get them might not be what you were looking for. I just say buy with caution and buy knowing that if you order their jeans you're good anything else 50 50 chance that you might not like it I want to try their summer clothes out and see how their summer clothes are now that I've tried their winter clothes I can say how the winter clothes are summer clothes I will see and then I will definitely decide if I'll order from them anymore as far as jeans I will always order from them Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, loves.